Hello, welcome to Signal Hub. This is yet another episode of our series uh, focused on how to use the features of the software JGebra. In this specific uh, video, we will learn how to create a solid of revolution a solid of revolution is a solid created by rotating a plane bounded by functions in our x and or our y axis so let's go ahead and do that I create a solid of revolution in our GeoGebra. how do we do that the tool for that is actually found in this toolbox is the last one surface of revolution the other tools were used in the previous presentation so if you haven't seen that one yet uh, you please go back to the previous video okay so before we actually can use this one we need first to identify uh, uh, the function that bounds a plane area because what we need here is uh, a specific area we are going to rotate that area to create the desired uh, solid so i have prepared here already three different functions the graph of these functions will be used to create the area that we want and then that area will be rotated our first function is actually just a line define from negative 2 to positive 2 i mean the the x values i integrated a restriction in our functions so h of x equal to 4 but x starts from negative 2 and ends with positive 2. this is of course plotted in our xy lane so that's uh, our function looks like if we are looking at top view so anyway that's our first function our second function is actually cubic it's x minus 2 quantity cube restricted from uh, 2 to uh, 4 only and then we have a quadratic function here so that's this is our quadratic function uh, restricted from negative 2 to positive 2 so we're going to use the area bounded by these functions that area will be rotated to create our curve so let's go ahead and uh, rotate the area bounded by this curve using this command here so surface of revolution so just click on the tool and then click on the function and then uh, click anywhere in our 3d graphic it will give us the solid uh, obtained by rotating f of x equal to x squared with respect to the x axis because we can rotate an area in two ways uh, you either rotate it with respect to the x axis the axis of rotation is parallel to the x axis or parallel to the y axis let us explore this object created so we can change our perspective this is the solid created by rotating this particular parabola rotated with respect to the x-axis we see in the command here in the input bar that uh, the equivalent command for uh, creating this object is the word surface close parenthesis the function involved in the amount of rotation uh, that uh, we uh, do so it's rotated uh, fully so the the number here is 360 degrees and then uh, we specify also the axis of rotation so that's that is the x axis so that is how we use uh, or this is how we create a solid of revolution if we use uh, the command so let's uh, remember this one what if i want to rotate uh, this object half full or that means uh, the angle of rotation is just 180 degrees what happens is actually the same it's the same object but rotated uh, one, uh, 180 degrees so we see only half part of the solid so let's go back to 360 degrees what if we change the, the axis of rotation to y-axis? So simply change that one. It is completely a different solid because the rotation is different. 
So this is the solid created using the same function, the same it's the, the same parabola, but we changed the axis of rotation. That's why the solid, of course, changed. So that rotation is uh, in, is with respect to the y axis. We can do the same for the other functions. Let me quickly show you that. Here is the solid form by our cubic uh, function. Let us zoom it in so that we can see. It's very tiny actually. That's how it looks like. What if we change the axis of rotation to y axis? How does the solid looks like? So it, this is the solid. It has a hole in between. Yeah, this is the solid. Mm -hmm. And then of course, for the line, we can do the same. Surface of revolution and this one. So it's actually a tire like solid. If we combine this one with the first surface, how does it look like? This is the solid that is created. Let's zoom it out. It's like a tire, but not exactly because there's no hole in the middle. This is an object, a solid created by rotating the area bounded by two functions already. What are the functions? The functions are the parabola in the line. So this area here, when we rotate it, it's a closed solid anymore. And that solid is this solid. Let us make it more interesting. What if we want our students to, to see exactly how we rotate the area? Uh, because when we use this command, this command here, uh, by default, is already 360. We can change that one by manually changing the angle. But what if we want to make it more dynamic so that the, the students can visually see how the areas are rotated to form the different uh, solids, solids of revolution. We can use uh, a slider to do that. We can create a slider for the angle and that's what we will use when we create the, the solid of revolution. So again, the command is surface up in parentheses, the function involved, the angle, but if we use a slider, the name of the slider, and then uh, the particular uh, axis of rotation. Let's do that. Let me first delete the first batch of solids that we created. Delete, delete, and delete. Okay, so what we need is a slider. We can name that any, anything. So we have now a slider. The slider can start from a 0 to any number, say 10. The step is like 0.1 and we are good to go. We have our slider. Let's now start to create a, a surface of revolution by integrating this slider. So again, uh, we can start with the command surface open parentheses, the function involved, that's function f, a, that's the angle, and then, and then the axis, I'd like to be y axis. Okay, let's take a look at what happens to this area, to this function when we slide our slider. So we see now that uh, the, the solid of revolution that we want to create is visibly clear so that is how we rotate the parabola to create a solid let's do the same for the other two functions ah uh, no let's have the first one in the third one the parabola in the line start with our surface and then the function h the slider the same slider a we want to rotate the function in, with respect to the y-axis, just the same. What is the solid form? It's of course the same solid, but it's a closed solid. Let's change the perspective a bit. 
So that is a solid. It's a closed solid. How about the solid created by the cubic function here, but using using a slider surface? Function, what function is it? G, the slider A, and uh, what is that? Uh, the the axis of rotation. Let's choose Y axis. Here is the solid created by that. So let's slide our slider to clearly see how is the solid of revolution is created making use of our function. It's a cubic function. So that is our solid. That is how we apply the tool solid of revolution. But take note, we can always be creative, especially if we are presenting with our students. That's it for this presentation. Thank you for listening. I'll see you in the next video.